So we get three different sports, swim, bike and run. But for each one of them, there's uh, equipment that you will be using in all three of them. So first of all, I'm just going to touch on the general equipment that we will be needing for triathlon. First of all, we get the tri suit. So you get two different kinds of tri suits. Um, this one is a one piece and it's got a zip at the back that you unzip and it's simple it's just one suit you put it on and you take it off then we get a two-piece uh, a two-piece suit is basically your pants um, that you will actually use and then the shirt that goes with it um, it's also quite nice it's got a zip in front if you uh, get too warm you can zip down and it's also got pockets at the back the basic difference between the one piece and the two piece is that if you need a nature break uh, two piece is always nice to have especially in in um, long events like an Ironman or a 70.3 and in the shorter events um, I will always go for a one piece because uh, chances of you going for a nature break is almost zero um, Basically, there's speculation that it's a bit faster if you go in a one-piece. At my level, it's, it doesn't really make a big difference. So, um, yeah, I would, uh, for Ironman and a 70.3, I always use a two-piece, and anything shorter than that, I will use my one-piece. The next piece of equipment that we will use, most probably all three of them, is the heart rate monitor. Now, there's two ways you can monitor your heart rate, and it all depends on also how you actually want to measure your, your exercise and your effort. Um, if you want to use heart rate, you have to get a, either a heart rate strap that goes around your chest, and you get two types. Um, you get the one that you can swim with, that actually records your heart rate while you swim, and then you just get the basic one that records your heart rate while you actually cycle and while you're not in the water. Um, it connects obviously to your watch and it gives you your heart rate reading. You can also get a, a watch that's got a built-in heart rate monitor. There's a difference between the heart rate strap and the heart rate monitor on your watch. The one is using optical, the other one is using the electrical pulses. Basically the heart rate strap is much more accurate and more direct than the watch. In the long run it all depends how accurate you need your heart rate to be and how quick do you need to see the, the, the change in your heart rate. Then we move on to the watch. Um, now obviously for your heart rate monitor you need to record what your heart rate is and that you will see on your device. Garmin, Sunto, there's a lot of nice watches out there on the market and technologies, I mean going so fast nowadays it's, it's hard to keep up with it but basically you get specific triathlon watches but most of the Garmin and Sunto watches they can actually record swimming cycling and running and a lot of other sports but um, you get a setting when you actually do a triathlon on the Garmin watches for me a watch is one of the most important things because if you want to get better at anything in life you have to record and using your watch you will actually record your swim and you can also build in a lot of your exercise routines into your watch and it can help you for instance in the pool um, if you have a certain set that you need to do or your coach give you a set um, to do in the pool or on the track or on the on the bike um, you can actually record it on your watch and then it helps you to actually remember what you have to do moving on to the race belt um, one of the things that a lot of people, they get to an event and they say, oh, I forgot my race belt. Uh, it's not the end of the world. 90% of the time there will be somebody selling race belts at the event. Um, so the race belt is just basically to have your number on. You have these two little elastics here in front. You take it off and you put it onto your uh, race number. When you run, you've got your number in the front and when you cycle, you just turn it around. Some of the race belts actually have a place here to hold your gels which is also a nice feature and some of the race belts even have a little pouch where you can actually put stuff in. You can use alternative ways to actually hold your number by pins and all of that stuff but it's, it just makes life hard. Last but not least in the general classification we have what we call a timing chip strap. So 
usually when you do like a, a race, they give you a timing chip, obviously to record your times and see what your transition times are and so forth. And you need to wear this around your ankle. So some events, they will actually provide you with a timing chip strap. They're not the most comfortable. They actually, sometimes they chafe you. And trust me, if you have to cycle 180 kilometers and run 42 kilometers and something is chafing you, it's not a nice experience. I got this Orca timing chip strap. Um, it's quite nice, soft, and you just put the timing chip on there, put it around your ankle, and you sort it.